hi friends welcome back to all on law today I'm gonna talk about uh, um, USMLE pearl that is vaginal infections I'm gonna talk very briefly and very important points and uh, this is a kind of uh, what you call a revision and it's kind of a summary of uh, um, a important topic and that will help you to uh, score more in your USMLE examination so I'm going to talk about vaginal infections. So regarding the individual vaginal infections, I will discuss later and few of them I have discussed earlier in our channel. So please do subscribe to our channel and please do share our uh, videos with your friends. Okay guys, so if you like the video, thumb up. So this is a kind of vision for USMLE and other medical board examinations. So let me quickly start this. So as you know, I'm going to talk about the vaginal infections and the very important points. Let me start with the, what you call the um, a important uh, infection that is Candida, Candida albicans or Candidiasis. Okay, Candida albicans. So it causes what you call a candidiasis. Okay, the important findings what you need to look for in USMLE Step 1 examination or USMLE Step to CK or step 3 examination you should look for the discharge the discharge here is what you call cottage cottage cheese sorry cottage cheese discharge okay and on KOH preparation KOH preparation you will see pseudo high five Pseudo high five. Okay, guys, and look for the important other histories in uh, what you call in, in in a case scenario of your family. Look for history of any diabetes mellitus. Okay, um, look for any if, if the patient is taking any kind of antibiotics. Okay, uh, and uh, look for any any what you call if she is a pregnant or okay if she is pregnant or not. If you find any vaginal infection and she is a pregnant and they give the history of cottage cheese discharge, then remember it is candidiasis that is caused by candida albicans. Okay, these are the important points for candida albicans. Well, how do you treat it? It's nothing but topical or oral fungal, oral antifungal, sorry, antifungal, okay, right? Okay, guys. So let me quickly start with the next infection that is chlamydiasis. Chlamydia. Trachomatis. Trachomatis. Okay. But in chlamydia trachomatis, for years mid examination, try to look for what you call uh, symptoms of uh, dysuria. Dysuria and uh, look for any, any any sexually transmitted disease it's the most common sexually transmitted disease okay uh, look for any positive culture okay or any antibody test results okay so what is the treatment for this the treatment for this is doxy cycline or azithromycin okay guys so chlamydia trachomatis remember Next, move on to the next infection. This is Cardinella vaginalis. Okay, vaginalis. In Cardinella vaginalis, look for a, look in the history. Is there any discharge that is malodorous? Malodorous discharge or any fishy smell, fishy smell, especially on a QH preparation, you see glue cells. Okay, guys, very important. So, how do you treat it? It's nothing but metronidazole. Metronidazole, okay, metronidazole, right? Okay, guys. So let me move on to the next infection that is nothing but herpes. 
that herpes. Herpes, you will have the what you call uh, ulcers that are multiple. You'll see multiple HSV2, right? Multiple, shallow, painful. Okay, painful ulcers. Right? And what is the treatment for this? Yes, you're right. Acyclovir or valcyclovir. Acyclovir. For USML examination, no need to remember any dose or nothing like that. Okay? Just remember the name of the drug that is used for the treatment. That's it. Okay, then we have very important that is a molluscum. Molluscum contagiosum. Conta. Okay, uh, molluscum contagiosum, the characteristic appearance of the lesion. Okay, um, the umbilical region, what you call characteristics, they are characteristics. The characteristic umbilical region. Okay, there is a intracellular lesions can be seen. Intracellular, intracellular lesions, very important. And what is the treatment? Treatment depends. It can be curettage, cryotherapy, or coagulation. Okay, guys. Right. Let's move on to the Neisseria gonorrhea. NG. Okay. For Neisseria gonorrhea, try to remember this is because NG you have to differentiate it from a chlamydia trachomatis. Really very important. Okay. Here the discharge is very important. This is mucopurulent. Mucopurulent. Mycoprolant, okay, very important. Mycoprolant and is cervicitis in cervicitis, okay. And on microscopy, you see gram negative bugs, okay. What is the treatment? Treatment is nothing but ceftriaxone or cefixime, okay. Right now, let's move on to the syphilis, the primary syphilis. Okay, syphilis. Syphilis in a syphilis, you will have the painless ulcer. Painless, remember, this is very important. Painless, what do you call um, they call it as a uh, shanker, right? Yeah. And on di uh, on uh, microscopy, dark or field microscopy, you see uh, spirochetes. Okay, and what is the treatment? Treatment is nothing but penicillin. Okay, very important. Now in a secondary uh, syphilis, secondary syphilis. In a secondary syphilis is uh, what you call uh, there will have a rash on a palm that is known as a maculo papular rash. Maculopapular rash and you see condyloma, condyloma, condy, condyloma, lata. Okay, very important. And what is the treatment? Same penicillin. If I want to ask you, if 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 the patient is very sensitive to our what called sensitive to penicillin and he is suffering from a syphilis or she is suffering from syphilis, what is the treatment? You have to desensitize the patient. Remember. Okay, there is no other alternative. Okay, then we have trichomonas vaginalis. Again, this is very important. Okay, and what do you need to look for this? Uh, look for any 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 what you call um, green pale green discharge. Okay, greeny discharge or watery. Okay, watery or sometimes they can give us a strawberry cervix. Strawberry. Cervix. Okay. Or there might be they give that um, the 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 box of this tri uh, trichomonas vaginalis are swimming. Okay. Under the microscopy, then it can be a trichomonas vaginalis. So what is the treatment for this? Metronidazole. Remember. Metronidazole. Okay, guys. So this is all about the common infections you see on uh, what you call. Uh, uh, vaginal infections thank you so much for watching this video take care